Ding ding ding. Hi, we are gonna see how to solve this system of equations with the matrix function on TIT4. First, we see that here's the matrix and it's in blue. So we have to hit second and go to matrix. These are the names of the matrices, but then we are gonna first go to edit first. And then we are gonna just say, let's choose the first one so that we can enter our matrix to be matrix A. So let's do that. And this is the system of equations that we have. It's a three by three system of equations because we have three unknowns and three equations, right? However, when we write this down as a matrix, we will end up with a three by four matrix. To do that, first we see that we have to line up with all the x, all the y's, all the z's, all the equal signs, and all the numbers. And then we just have to write down the coefficients. And we'll end up with this three by four matrix. So for example, the first row, these are just the numbers right here. We have the two here, three, negative two, and four. And then for the second row, we will have one because that's the coefficient in front of the x, right? The number in front of the x is one. And then we have three, negative three, and four. And for the last row, we have three, negative six. And once again, the coefficient of z is one. And then we have negative three. This is a three by four matrix. And this is the one that we have to enter onto matrix A. First, we're going to make sure we write this down as three by four. And then we just have to fill in these numbers to be these. So we are just going to do that. So I'm going to put down two, three, and use this for negative, negative two, and then we have four. And then we're ju just going to continue. We have the one, three, negative three, and four, and then three, negative six, one, and negative three, okay? So after we fill in the matrix A to be this, this is what we have to do. We have to go back home first. Second, quit. We have to go back to the home page, all right? And then we are going to go back to the matrix again. Second, matrix. But this time, we are going to go to math because we are going to do the computations, right? We are going to go down to choice B, R, R, E, F. This stands for it will tell you the answer, okay? It will tell you the answer. Don't use R, E, F, use R, R, E, F. These two look similar, but then be sure you use choice B, R, R, E, F. So select that, and then we have to enter the matrix that we put in, which is the matrix A, right? So go back to second matrix again, right here. This time we're going to select the first one, which is the matrix A, the three by four matrix that we entered earlier. And then we are going to close the parentheses. And we're just going to hit enter once again, like this. As you can see, this is in the RREF form. One, one, one on the diagonals. And then you have all these zeros right here. And these are the answers. But then these are the decimal numbers, right? That's not so good. This is how we can do. We are going to go to math and then just select the first one so we can change the decimals to fractions. Let me show you. And you see, this is the REF with fractions. And this is pretty much what we have right here. So REF just means that we are going to have the matrix where the diagonals are one. And this is the good situation. We have all these ones right here. And then we have one half, two thirds, and negative one half, right? And this is how we are going to read the answer. This is the x column. We have one x, no y, no z. And this right here is one half. That means one x is equal to one half, so x is equal to one half. Likewise, this right here is the y column, so that means we have zero x, one y, zero z and this is equal to two thirds. So y is equal to two thirds. And for the last one, this is the z column. So of course, z is equal to negative one half. And there you have it. This is the answer to this system of equations. That's it.